this is a dedication written to all who think, to all who love, to all who dream, to all who boot, to all who will listen. This is for the skinny girls who think they're fat. This is for the girls who hide behind their curtains and sleeves. This one's for the lying boys and the school year limps and the boys who chase them away. For the oppressed daughter of an overprotective businessman. For the has been in his palace of solitude. For the clockwork lawyer who is slave to the pulse of his wristwatch and the demands of a schedule. For the optimist with his head in the clouds and the pessimist with her heart in the stone. This one's for the autistic child who's misunderstood because he doesn't speak English. Speaks only God. May God understand him. For the school shooters and their mazes of work repairs. For the suicidal driver who wishes for nothing but an end to the screams. For the obsessive compulsive hand washer who will so scrub away the shame. For the hoarder buried in her possessions and pain. For the lonely toss and turn sleeper who just can't see the light. For the sidewalk crack stepper who wishes she could risk a cobble street drive. For the best friends since the days of tie dyed t shirts, summer camps, and girl scouts. For the strangers who drove from apart. For those who love but aren't loved. For those who want love but no one will never come. For the. For the broken hearts left way forgotten on the silent dusty shelf. I have lived that silent soft with cobwebs. I have seen that tiny corner of the mind when we really sees the mess by force. I have slept in the bottom of dark if you know, but know it all too well, so it's to me. This is for the black coffee chug and blue collar worker. <laughs> for this one's for the millionaire heiress yakky yak yakking on her cell phone. For the fine line that unites and divides isn't the same. This one's for the midnight bike rider who only wants to fly. For the haunted detectives of ghosts who only want to die. For the neighborhood street corner rambler. For the lonely park bench sleeping hobo who knows some things will never change as long as he's alive and pushing his car along. For the sports sweatshirt singing, singing jocks and the geeks they torment. For the fictional children sitting on the wire. For the ashes left after the campfire. For the melody at the misplaced singer's lips. For the script that sways on the peony dancers from the camps. For the chased rats. For the black cats. For the abused puppy found lost on Main Street. For those who ride on the outsides of trains and the ends they meet. This one's for the Scandinavians. This one's for the Gossipy Hotel Queen. This one's for Miss America and her first runner-up. For the senior citizen clubs. For the 13-year-olds who broke for Ramadan fast. For those who dream of redemption but can't seem to find it. For those who are left behind. For the street salesperson and the miracle vegetable shopper. It's his life and living to sell. For the leftover hippies, for the anonymous alcoholics, for the in the closet homosexuals, for the scarred bodies and souls of addicts. This one's for this life that never touches us inside, for the tomorrow that we speak of but never find, for the sadness in the eyes of memory, for the forgetfulness and faith alike. This one's for the families that aren't perfect. And no, they never will be. Always face their trials and troubles every day. Always feel that build up of dust in their veins. No laughter and love, no happy hours together. Some things will never change. This one's for the man who loves his best friend's wife but can never tell her. This is for the girl who cowers in a nook for fear of her lover's wrath. For the wise men and the wise guys, for the jailbirds and the jail guards, for the lost imaginers, for the freak shows, for the dust, the dust, the dust. The, for this one's for the, for everyone who dreams not of a better tomorrow, just of a different today.
This is for the humans. This is for the animals. This is for the plants. This is for the supposed so-called inanimates. This is for all of you. As a writer, I know the risk I run. Describe to what others can't see. I give them words away as presents and written portraits. As silent screams and transparent dreams. As everything but my own because my language belongs to everyone. It is the silence alone that belongs to me. Everyone recollects themselves in their own silence, but falls apart in that of others. All of us. I have seen you, so listen to me. I have touched you all in one way or another, so listen to me. And remember, your heart beats two billion times in your lifetime. Don't let any one of those heartbeats go to waste. I love only to tell you this. One day, the world will come knocking at your door, and you live to answer it. Open that door. Raise out your life's waiting arms. Embrace it. Even if you are afraid. Because we are the world in more ways than one. The world was dedicated to all animal, human, plants, supposed to call them, and don't you forget that. For from the goddess in the dream theater and the celestial speakers of the heavens to images not random but metaphor in a mortal man's mind. And the fad celebrity who watches his life flash before his eyes every night. We are all one. Those I know and love, those I don't know but someday will, those I have forgotten, those I will never find. Listen to me. <sighs> Victims and victors all at once. You are all here. You are all ensnared in the same questionable spider of the soul known as existence. Embrace it for this is your life. I wish I could speak to all of you at once, but what would I say if I did? I see you all, even those of you who are in front of me. I know you're there, that's enough for me. This is our world, our ancestor and child. A flow of blood like lava, and veins deeper and more ancient than the flow of human blood and human veins. Can you hear its pulse? I hear it. In mine, in yours, in the world's beyond. This is my dedication. Everything. You who I could not save. Listen to me. Okay, so here's the deal. This poem is pretty much my life's work. Because... I came home a while ago, I don't know how long ago, since I've been around this thing forever, <laughs> and I found a notebook where I'd been writing about people that I saw, just over the course of a day. <sighs> Must have been quite a day, because <laughs> that thing was full. And I just began thinking about everything that those people must be experiencing, wondering, like, where are those people now? Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> but, just the idea behind this poem is that everyone in the world would be able to see themselves in some way or another in this poem. So, listen carefully and look for yourself. Listen carefully. Look for your friends, look for your family, look for those you love, look for those you hate, look for me even. <laughs> so, here's the poem, that's my author's note before the actual poem, enjoy! <laughs>